with lactose utilization in a human. The reason I can drink milk is because the normal regulatory system that shuts down the gene that makes the enzyme so you can digest lactose, when you, reach pu when you move through puberty, that gene gets shut down. If you have the mutation, that blocks the shutting down. But what have you done? What you've done is you've eliminated a pre-existing system. Mm -hmm. There are people that are actually resistant to HIV. Do you know how they're resistant to HIV? They are missing the key protein the HIV virus binds to. And if the virus can't bind, it can't infect. Now, if you're exposed to HIV, that'd be a pretty beneficial mutation, right? Sure. But what's it caused by? It's caused by loss of a pre-existing protein. And so what we see, and I can go on and on, what we see is repeatedly what the evolutionist community does is they offer example after example after example of what they claim, here's how evolution works. No, it's not. Because what you're doing is you're taking pre-existing systems and knocking them out or reducing them. You're not explaining how they evolved to begin with. It's the analogy of if you have a house and in your house, you have the dining room and a wall and then your recreation room. And your wife being, you know, the big socialite that she is, she wants a bigger dining room to entertain her parties. Well, you have a choice. I can keep my rec room or I can knock at that wall and get a bigger dining room. Well, you know, everybody knows happy wife is a happy home. So you knock out the inner wall and they have a bigger dining room. And it's beneficial because she's happy. But don't tell a carpenter that how you built the house was by knocking out a wall. But that's what evolutionists do repeatedly is they give you an illustration of knocking at a wall and this is how the house was built. Mm -hmm.